Hi, in this video I want to show you how I have created or converted Excel file to VCF. VCF is more like a electronic business card file. So let me show you, for example, I have an Excel file that looks like this with um, first name, last name, organization, job title, street address. It's just a test data I created for the illustration. <coughs> Excuse me. You may have a different file, and I want to create VCF file from from, from these records. And I created app and we can do this. Now this is my website. I will leave link in the description to find the um, app I will do Excel. And to the load app, I double click on the load button to start the loading process. And then click on the loaded archive, click on MSI, click on more info. I'm getting the screen because I'm not registered publisher. And you can see publisher and no publisher. <coughs> I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and don't finish. And you can see that app has been installed on my computer and there is a shortcut here. Now I can close this and minimize this to launch app. I'll double click on uh, shortcut and app will be started. Now I want to select my Excel file. You may be, you may have different file. It's okay. On, I will show you how we're going to map a file from Excel with VCF field. Now this is my file. I click on it and click on open. On next step, this is what gonna happen. First, if my file contains the column names on the top, this is usually like uh, some Excel files have it on the top. If not, I would add the uh, uh, I would add top row saying which field is which. For example, this first name, last name, organization, job title, street address, if, because this will be useful for converting. Uh, if I have an Excel file without this, I will just insert first row and briefly specify what column it is. Because for a conversion app, here we have to uh, specify first name. This is like on the left side is um, a VCF fields. Here are columns from Excel. So if I added first name to Excel column, I, now I can map, okay, take first name from this column, take last name from this column, take organization from this job title, from this form, uh, from this mobile, <clears throat> from here, and now email column. Home page and so on. If some columns are missing, it's fine. You see, a format is like can have a, um, some missing fields. It doesn't matter. If the information is there, it will be, it is good to map it. So it will be in this VCF file of city and last name is country country. Yeah, good. Now uh, the thing is. This checkbox saying like first row of the input files has column names and I will leave it checked if uh, in our case because we have all these column names in them. Now here I can specify how how I want to convert it. I, uh, I can convert it into one VCF files. Um, so VCF files can have multiple columns or I can convert to many files. So for every record will be created separate electronic uh, business card VCF in VCF format. Then I'll go to next step. Okay, let's just click run. Now, because we selected multiple files, so instead of specifying name for every, every, every card, we will let app to do that. And now I have to specify where exactly this uh, uh, files will be saved. Let's say them to VCF2. 
this folder already exists. Um, it's empty it's okay I can specify this file click OK and now you can see that same files will be stored and create all these files with um, now it has a it what it's doing it adding first name and last name as in the name of the file and date it's created so I can And we can see all data here and in VCF format. All data we specified from Excel now in VCF. Um, so yeah, basically that's it.